Some people say that you can tell a lot about a person based on their astrological sign. But can astrology be used to find the perfect car for you? We did literally minutes of astrological research and today we're gonna determine the best car for every sign. I'm joined by Nolan. Fun fact, we both have zodiac signs, so <laughs> is this gonna be accurate? Let's find out. I'm James and this is Let's get it. The D D D List. Let's go. A big thanks to Helix for sponsoring today's video. Now, I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. Sleep is the most important meal of the day. And that's why I ordered a Helix mattress to get a comfortable eight to 16 hours of sleep every night. I like Helix mattresses so much that I got one at the office and one at home. They're the most awarded mattress brand of 2020 for a reason. Helix understands that everyone is different and even developed a sleep quiz that matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. I myself like a middle of the road firmness and I often sleep on my washboard abs. So Helix paired me with the Helix Dust Lux. And after a month of sleeping on it, I can honestly say it is a very comfortable mattress. Hashtag James Pumphrey approved. And it's not just finding your perfect mattress that Helix makes easy. They also deliver it right to your door. It even comes with a 100 night sleep trial so you can be sure that it's the perfect match or they'll come pick it up themselves and give you a full refund. So start getting a comfortable night's sleep and go over to helixsleep.com slash donut media or click the link in the description to receive up to $200 off your mattress plus two free pillows, which are also comfortable. Now, back to the show. I just want to make it clear, this is surface level astrology. We're not going to get that deep into it, but I think we're going to have a little bit of fun. What's that book, Nolan? I actually uh, spent about two to three hours uh, taking notes um, on all the, all the different signs, my birth chart, you know, all the basics. I think it's a pretty fascinating belief system. It's, it's pretty interesting. My only experience with the Zodiac is when I became obsessed with finding his identity and solving those murders. Without further ado, let's get into it. First up on the uh, astrological calendar is Aries. That's from March 21st to April 19th, and it is a fire sign. Yes, fire sign, they're just very bold personalities. According to my notes, let me look here. Mm -hmm. Bold and ambitious. Strong desire to always be ahead of others. Mm -hmm. Power is the priority. Handling and maneuverability might not be. I think I already have a car in mind for this. Freaking Hellcat. Yeah, yeah, Hellcat, that's <laughs> Hellcat. easy. It's got hell in the name, it's Aries, a fire sign. Yeah, Aries, of course, god of war. Let's be specific here. Yeah, Challenger, red eye, Hellcat, mind body. Burr. Cinnamon stick red. Cinnamon stick red, Yeah. there we go. Next up, we got Taurus. That's April 20th through May 20th. That is an Earth sign. Okay. Grounded, all right? Mm. They value personal comfort, enjoy using their senses, especially touch. Mm. Taurus, of course, James. As we know, a bull, right? Yeah, Lamborghini. I was gonna say Lamborghini, but, you know, practical and realistic. Ooh, what about like a Lexus? <laughs> Lexus is up there. Like a Lexus SUV or like an F-150. King Ranch yeah, F-150. Yeah, King Ranch F-150. It's comfortable, yeah. for sure. It's practical. You can tow stuff, you can throw crap in the bed. Lots of fine touch points in the vehicle. The steering mm -hmm. wheel leather wrapped. I assume the shifter is as well. Heated steering Everything wheel. Everything is just comfy. You know, you're just, you're just vibing. You're just in there. So Taurus, we're going with a Ford, but not a Ford Taurus. Ford F-150 King Ranch. Next up, we got Gemini. It's May 21st to June 20th. Mm -hmm. This is an air sign. A little woo, 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 woo. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, often seen as two-sided or indecisive, but it's more that they crave adaptability. Adaptability. Mm -hmm. Fun-loving. Social butterflies. I want to say like Subaru off the bat. Ooh, yeah, like a Subaru... Uh, Baja, because it's dual. Because <laughs> it's two-sided. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. a, it's a, it's kind of like a sports rally car, and it's kind of a truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, their social butterflies in the Subaru community is one of the strongest car communities. Yeah. Subaru came out with like a factory series of bumper stickers you could put on your car to like show what you're into, which is like kind of corny, but like, mm -hmm. it's a community. Or yeah, either a or, Baja or a Chevy SSR. <laughs> it's literally a truck that yeah. you can take the top down. And how fitting that we're being indecisive about this. Yeah. So you get two options. If you're a Gemini, go get yourself either a Subaru Baja or, or a Chevy, Chevy SSR. SSR. <laughs>
Next on the calendar is Cancer. That's June 21st to July 22nd. Okay. It's a water sign. My sister Mary is a Cancer, so. Shout out to Mary. See if this is accurate. Sentimental at their core. Mm -hmm. Heritage might be more important than performance. Cancers tend to be sensitive and want to help others, so safety and security are also important. Yeah, in my notes, uh, I've got that uh, Cancers are very intuitive. Mm. Um, they're able to intuit. Uh, so, okay, so something sentimental with some a vehicle with history behind it. Heritage is more important than performance. Okay, that narrows it down. Volvo. 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 Like a Volvo 240 wagon. Yeah, I think that's the move. That's such a, like a hand-me-down car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sentimental. She had a Volvo 240. What? Yeah. This is real, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's real, guys. If you're a Cancer, Volvo 240 wagon. Back with another fire sign. Oh boy. This is a summer baby. Oh boy. Uh, Leo, July 23rd to August 22nd. Leos want their individuality and creativity to shine. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe some aftermarket support. Leos are vivacious, theatrical, and passionate mm -hmm. people. Dramatic. They like attention. I, I want to say, like, dude, passionate and dramatic? Lambo. 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 And with Lamborghini, you can literally pick. Like you don't need yeah. aftermarket support because you can literally pick every single thing about the car. Mm -hmm. And you, you can, can make some really yeah. up looking cars. So if you're a Leo, you better save up because the perfect car for you is a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ that you customized with crazy options. Uh, and you're probably gonna wanna fly to Italy to pick it up. Virgo, my girlfriend is a Virgo. Hmm. They're the best sign. That's <laughs> August 23rd to September 22nd. It's an earth sign, very grounded. Virgos tend to be reserved and responsible. I can attest to that. Casey is very responsible. A nice yin to my yang. Performance <laughs> and quality are important. Mm -hmm. They're drawn to simplicity and design. Utility wins over beauty. And lastly, they're cautious and want something with a proven safety rating. So Casey drives an Audi SUV, mm -hmm. so I think that fits the bill, but she really wants like a 964, 993, 911. What about a Porsche Cayenne? I could see a Cayenne. It's responsible because it's got a lot of room. It's not a crazy design, especially compared to other luxury SUVs. Performance is there, they are fast. Quality is there. So if you're a Virgo, get yourself a Porsche Cayenne. Next up, we got the Libra, it's a lion. September 23rd to October 22nd, and even though it's a lion, it's an air sign, which is weird. Why don't you tell me about Libras, Nolan? Libra, sure. Uh, in my notes, you know, Libras have a fixation with balance and harmony. They're obsessed with symmetry. You know, we're not looking for anything flashy here. Looking for a car that covers all the bases. Performance, comfort, price, et cetera, Ooh. all balanced evenly. Okay. Okay, sounds like you got an idea. All right, I'm listening. Performance, comfort, and price. Kia Stinger. Yeah, it's got all-wheel drive. It does. So it's it does balanced. have all-wheel drive. That's symmetry, dude. Yeah, it's a performance car that is luxurious. They are nice. That won't break the bank. Twin turbo, all-wheel drive. That's symmetrical too. Oh my God, it's so perfect. This is real. This stuff is real. This is real. It's real. Ah. Scorpio, oh. like Drake. <laughs> what? <laughs> Drake is a Scorpio. October 23rd to November 21st, water sign. Just like Drake, <laughs> secretive person, he had a son. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Understated exteriors, but with spicy personality that okay. may catch others off guard. Okay. Uh, they're assertive and confrontational by nature, but value a low key profile. I mean, this, this, that is Drake. That's real. Okay, so understated exterior, uh -huh. but spicy person, so, like what about a sleeper, maybe? Can we think of a car that derives strength from psychic and emotional realm? What about Trailblazer SS? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely got an understated exterior, yep. but it's got a spicy LS2 under the hood. And I think if you drive a Trailblazer SS, I think you're confrontational. You're a yeah, confrontational, you're a confrontational person. person if you drive yeah. one of those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got tattoos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So perfect car for a Scorpio. Chevy Trailblazer SS. Sagittarius, November 22nd to December 21st. Got ourselves another fire sign. Ooh, Sagittarius <laughs> needs freedom above all else. They okay. love to travel. They need to escape often. They're extremely self-reliant. Mm -hmm. 
even on the go. So that's Land Rover's out. Optimistic, <laughs> ambitious, idealistic. Uh, Sagittarius is, can potentially overlook obvious issues. So okay, Land so Rover's maybe they're back, back in. in. They're back in. What about a van life? Ooh, like a like a E350. Like a E350 converted yes. to like being able to sleep in the Dude, car. Dude, you don't even have to have a house. Yeah, they could have four. How much more they, free can yeah. you be? You can also cook in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you can cook in it, you can put a toilet in it. I yeah. love this. Yeah. I love this for us. I love this for us. We are nailing it. This is real. <laughs> this is real. This stuff is, is real. real. Can you please hit the like button? <laughs> please hit the like button. Before I forget, please hit it. Thank you. <laughs> Capricorn, end of the year, December 22nd. Through January 19th is an Earth sign. Jesus was a Capricorn. Hmm. Capricorns are hardworking. They value dependability. Okay. They make the most out of what they have and are more practical than the other signs. Hmm. They value things that are well engineered. Mm -hmm. uh, they're willing to keep up with maintenance. I'm smelling a German car again. Mm -hmm. These, they're cautious, detail oriented, and appreciate tradition. Dude, G wagon. German cars are all. Very well put together, really great build quality, a lot of attention to detail. Mm -hmm. So check, mm -hmm. appreciate tradition. The G wagon has basically the same, been the same for it's been 150 for so years. long. The new yeah. ones, that's why we're not going with a new one. Mm -hmm. New one's a new platform. We're going with the old one, I'm trying to get you your value for your money. One that you wouldn't mind froding a little bit. Yeah, froding. It's also a very practical car. Those cars have the best sounding doors in the world. If you're a Capricorn, get yourself a G wagon. Downloading. If you thought this list was over, you're wrong. Dead wrong. I like the way it's going down. It's, it's the age of Aquarius. January 20th to February 18th, air sign, Aquarius. Naturally stand out and oh, love yeah. innovation. Oh yeah. They're unwilling to follow the paths of others, don't want to feel limited. Hmm. They're not superficial, so what they get out of a vehicle matters more than okay. the looks of the vehicle. So I was going to say innovation, like, I was thinking electric, mm. but I do think electric is a little limiting because the range still is Depending a on where you live, yeah. yeah. Hmm, hydrogen? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so maybe like one of those, uh, what's that called? Is it a Mirai? Mirai. Mirai. Yeah, Toyota oh, it's Mirai. the ugliest car ever, so yeah. they don't care about the looks. Yeah. And, check this out. The only emission from the Toyota Mirai is water droplets. Aqua. Uh -huh. Aqua. <laughs> Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're an Aquarius, I am so sorry, but your perfect car is, in my opinion, the ugliest car ever made. They look good from the back. The front, <laughs> not so. It looks like a, a fresher whale. <laughs> yeah. All right, finally, we have reached the end of our Zodiac calendar with the Pisces. Ooh. It's February 19th to March 20th. It's a water sign and it's both of our signs. Pisces tend to be selfless, uh, <laughs> handsome. Uh, they want to help others without expectation of getting anything in return. We're friendly, we're artistic, we're handsome. <laughs> we can balance their, our emotional needs with tangible needs. We're the type of people who grow in the face of adversity. What's the best, which is like, what's the most well-balanced car in the world? I mean, M3's up there. M3. As far as like practicality and fun goes. I can't think of anything better. Yeah. What era M3 though? A new one. It's part of a long pedigree. It's the newest one. Balanced, fun, emotional, uh, friendly with that big old smile on the front. <laughs> uh, artistic, you can get them in a bunch of different cool colors. You can, you can do that. Selfless, you can give people rides. And it grows in the face of adversity and handles what life throws their way. Almost every gen yeah. of M3, people have been like, what? They made it a V8? What? It's turbo now? What? The grill is big? But you know what? They always come around and they just keep making good cars. I have to agree with you, James. If you're Pisces, get yourself a new M3 in baby PP green. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan, thanks for coming by and James, helping me having... figure out this very real science of astrology. It's very real. A big thanks to Sylvie from our Discord for helping us research this and uh, teaching these two galoots so much about the stars. <laughs> of course, access to our Discord is something that you get through the Donut Underground program. It's for the super duper fans, so if that Sounds like something you'd be interested in. Click that join button below to see what it's all about. Follow Nolan on all social at Nolan J Sykes. Follow me at James Pumphrey. Follow Donut at Donut Media. I love you. 
Another banger. D-List. Countdown. From the Donut Media Hit Squad.